You open Chrome, you visit a website you trust, and you don't click on any download buttons. But five seconds later, an attacker is inside of your system. A new zero day in Google Chrome was exploited recently, and it's been across all social media and news channels. Google had to rush out an emergency update because attackers were already using this zero day to break into people's computers using Chrome. We're going to go over what a zero day actually means, why this Chrome one matters, and how attackers use zero days in real life, and how to protect yourself without needing any technical backup. Background. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ben and I make educational cybersecurity videos like this one every single week. So make sure you go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Be sure to also follow me on Instagram and TikTok at CyberWithBen for more content. So let's go ahead and break down exactly what a zero day is. So imagine your house has a hidden crack in the wall. You don't know what's there. The builder doesn't know what's there. You can't even see it, but someone else finds it first. And they use that crack to get inside of your home before you even realize it's even a vulnerability. That crack itself is the vulnerability. And the moment you discover it, it's probably too late. You've had zero days to respond to this vulnerability, which is why it's called a zero day. It simply means the attackers found the weakness first, and you only learn about this vulnerability when the damage has already started. And if you're working in cybersecurity, whether you're working in the security operations center, the forensics team, detection engineering, penetration testing, GRC, regardless of what role you're working in, understanding what a zero day is, is essential. Most people learning cybersecurity spend hours doing the same thing every single day. Looking for jobs, trying to stay consistent with studying, keeping up with the latest news. But what if I told you you can make all of that automatic? And that's where NADN comes to play. It's a free tool that lets you connect apps together so that they can do the work for you. And when you host it on a hosting or VPS, you can run as many automations as you want, whenever you want, and with full control and privacy. And Hostinger makes it simple. It's fast, affordable, and gives you your own private server online to run everything securely and safely. You can even set up NNN in just a few clicks with their ready-made templates. And here's a few automation ideas that you can build today. You can build a job tracker that automatically saves job listings into a Google Sheet. You can set up a reminder that notifies you every single day at a certain time of day to study for your next certification. You could set up a portfolio tracker that tracks all of your new projects. And if you want to take it a step further, you can even use your hosting or VPS to run Kali Linux. And that's the same system cybersecurity pros use to get some hands-on skills and practice ethical hacking. That means you can automate your learning and test real tools all in one place using Hostinger and NNN. So if you want to save time and make your cybersecurity learning smarter, head to hostinger.com slash cyberwithben and use code cyberwithben at checkout for a special limited time only discount on all yearly plans. Thank you to Hostinger for sponsoring today's video. So now let's go over exactly what happened in this Google Chrome zero day. So attackers found a flaw inside of the browser that involves the part that loads websites. They use this flaw to slip in their own code into people's devices. You didn't have to download anything or click on anything weird. Visiting the wrong web page was enough for this one to get started. Google fixed it fast, but only after seeing attackers taking advantage of it. And this isn't just some form of one-off attack. Zero days have shaped some of the biggest attacks we've ever seen. This includes Stuxnet in 2010, the Equifax data breach in 2017, and the Microsoft Exchange server attacks in 2021. And in cybersecurity, zero days are a huge advantage for the attackers because they get into your system without anyone knowing there's even a problem. And that's why the Chrome zero day matters. It shows how threats appear so quickly when it comes to cybersecurity and how simple updates can close the door before any more attackers get in. So how do attackers actually stumble upon and initiate zero days? When people hear attackers exploited a zero day, they first probably imagine someone sitting behind the computer desk in a dark room, wearing a mask or a hoodie, typing behind a screen. But real zero day attacks are usually quiet. And let me explain it to you in simple terms. Firstly, the attackers find the hidden flaw. Second, they prepare a website or a piece of content that triggers it. Third, the users visit the page. Four, the flaw opens a door inside of your browser. And five, the attacker steps in and starts wreaking havoc. And these attacks work because they stay invisible for the first beginning stages. And in cybersecurity, visibility is everything. If you can't see what's happening, you can't protect yourself. And most people only realize something happened weeks later or when something feels a little off. But by then, the attackers already have everything you need. So in this case, for example, imagine all the things that your browser touches. Your online banking, your email, your social media, your saved passwords, your messages. The browser is like your digital wallet, your ID, and your house keys all in one. And if it breaks or it's being exploited, everything becomes vulnerable. And that's why attackers love browsers zero days. It gives them more access 
process with less effort, no tricking into downloads, no phishing, no social engineering, no spear phishing, just one broken line in the browser's code and boom, they're in. So let's go through exactly what happened with the Chrome zero day attack. So the flaw in this case was with the V8 JavaScript WebAssembly engine, and it would be considered a type confusion bug. A type confusion bug basically means the browser is confused on what type of data it's handling. The browser mistakes dangerous data for safe data, and that mistake opens the doors for attackers. And because of this confusion, Chrome opens up a part of its memory that really should be private. And as a result, the attacker slips in their code to this memory, and Chrome ends up running it as if it's normal. And that's it. That's the entire attack that took place. But here's what you should do right now in order to protect yourself from situations like this. So for people like me and you who use Chrome on a daily basis for our normal tasks, here's what you need to do in order to update your Chrome. So the first thing you need to do is open a Chrome window and go to the top right corner and click on the button with those three dots. From there, go all the way down to help and go to about Google Chrome. And from there, all you need to do is click on relaunch and you'll have the latest version of Google Chrome with the patches. So now let's go ahead and take a step back and look at the overall landscape of cybersecurity when it comes to zero days. So every year, browsers add more updates and more features. More features means more code. More code means more chances for mistakes and more mistakes means more opportunities for attackers. At the same time, attackers are getting more advanced and getting better at scanning software for potential hidden weaknesses. And it's not that the companies are writing worse code. It's the fact that the world is far more connected now than ever. I mean, think about it. Your browser isn't just running websites. It's running apps. It's handling videos, games, files, plugins, extensions, scripts, everything. Browsers are basically mini operating systems now. So the attack surface is huge and zero days are rising because companies complexity is also rising. So here are some general cybersecurity tips and best practices to make sure you're protected online. Firstly, relaunch your browser every two days to make sure you have the latest version of your browser, just like we did earlier on in the video. This is obvious, but make sure you avoid weird pop-ups and unknown websites. Next, don't install any random extensions. Keep your system updated and use two-factor authentication where you can. And last of all, make sure you don't reuse any old passwords. And finally, treat your browser with the same seriousness as you would your phone or a banking app. So that is going to be the Chrome Zero Day explained in simple terms and also how to protect yourself from potential attacks like this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and be sure to go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new and follow me at Cyber with Ben for more cybersecurity content. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next week's video. Peace.